Hey, everybody. It's a beautiful Wednesday, September the 15th. It's National Online Learning Day. <laughs> it's like every day. Uh, it is time for the daily mayhem of the wise guys and girl. And Matt, sponsored by Zellers and the Zellers Restaurant, where the lowest price is the law. As always, let's start with Sir and the weather. Well, I'm out in the mobile weather tracker at this point, reporting from the QEW and Airmo Parkway. Currently 17 degrees, working our way up to a high of 22 today under a mix of sun and clouds, and looking like a sunny day tomorrow. Right on. Uh, Paul, you're muted, by the way, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> National Online Learning Day recognizes the advantages and vast potential of online learning. Also honors the accomplishments of online students and people that they're working on behalf of everywhere. Whether you've ever taken an online course, used educational resources at a traditional bricks and mortar school, or taught them, this day is for you. This day showcases online learning, helping people accomplish their goals and dreams for themselves or for somebody they're ghosting online. You know, the power of technology has knocked down barriers and built bridges in education. And with online learning, our adults can balance working and furthering their knowledge to earn high school diplomas, certificates, college degrees, and credits all online. And I'm just looking forward to the day when I can say to the kids, Hey, I used to teach in person with a room full of students. And the wait to hear them say, Okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. uh, just, as a, just as a disclaimer, um, this has not been endorsed by any of the major teacher unions in this monologue. <laughs> uh, not as yet, no. Uh, Alright, it is time for Tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what are we listening to today? I think what would go with today is Video Killed the Radio Star by The Buggles. No. <laughs> but that's a good one. You guys, that's, I think that's the first music video they ever played on MTV. I think that's their yes. song's claim to fame. Anyway, no. Um, new, a different group that I'm picking today, different band. Um, what, what, what thing do we absolutely need, 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 need in order for online learning to even happen in the first place? The internet. Ventura, I like. Do I have a prize for you? You're on this street. That's uh, three days in a row. Like you guys can find that. <laughs> we did not. <laughs> We're just in sync like that. So anyway, the internet is correct, and there is a band called the Internet. So, um, really great band. Actually, you guys should listen to some really, really great music. Um, but there's a song called Sunset by the Internet, and it's. Goes a little something like this, and no, I'm not singing it. I'm reading the lyrics. Thank you, Mark. Before you ask, <laughs> yes. So it starts out. It's pretty. It's actually pretty apropos. Also, it starts out. Life's a mess. <laughs> Mine's a gray. So are my clothes. I undress and pick an outfit for this sunny day because it's okay. I attempt not to let my optimism slip away because it's okay. Because as long as the sun is rising, we can get up and brighten someone's day. I'm shining bright as the rays inside my soul. So that's the, just the beginning of the song. That's the first couple of standards. Beautiful, beautiful way to, I think, start the day. If life's a mess and your mind's in disarray, that's okay. You can always be optimistic and brighten someone's day. So that is my pick for today. Sunset by the internet, get into it. And that's it. Perfect. If they were in Branson, they'd be offline right now. <laughs> Apparently, there's some widespread internet outages uh, affecting schools up there. So, uh, well, it like, not affect the one we're in right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Is it affecting the school that you're working at right now and connecting to this podcast through? <laughs> <laughs> so far, well, we did have a slight power blip. So who knows what's going to happen? Uh, the board has had a power blip for about the last year and a half now. But anyway, uh, let's, let's get to Ventures with Venturo. Uh, Ventura, what have you got for us today? You know what? In keeping with the team for today, I thought I would just share some online learning tips. So for all our, our avid listeners that are engaged in some school activity right now where they're learning, um, these are some tips that you can follow daily, right? So the first one is, of course, log in daily and keep on track with announcements and assignments. And another one is utilize all resources that are available to you. So you're on the internet doing your online classes, 
you have a plethora of resources that you can access, online libraries, etc. That will definitely help you to be successful. Um, prepare to communicate primarily through writing. Um, a lot of that is, is possible in your online environment, but of course you'll have opportunities to have some live sessions with your teacher. Make it a point of duty to, to always express any issues that you're having with your teachers. Um, another good one is take notes on what you read and that will definitely help you to retain the information that you're going through. And the last one is apply what you learn, all right? To your discussions, your assignments, and definitely to your exam. So get out, use those tips, and hopefully you're successful in your online learning. That's it, Inventures with Ventiro. Awesome, awesome tips. Thanks, Ventiro. Uh, one slight correction at the beginning, you said all of our avid listeners think you meant to say <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we and lost I, one yesterday. <laughs> and I know you don't uh, normally earn uh, dollars towards the Zeller's restaurant, but I think we're going to give you a couple of bucks for a good use of my favorite word, plethora. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome to this week's edition of The Sizzler, where our own Vice Principal Botnick and our special guest, Matt Shulman, quote machine, uh, work together to earn a gift certificate to the Zeller's Restaurant. Uh, Matt, how are you doing today? Uh, not so good, but look, my hair's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta say, uh, you're really rocking the COVID uh, hair there. <laughs> I don't know, more and more that we uh, do these, uh, between you, Ventura, and I, we're getting a lot of similarities going on here upstairs. How about that? I, I'm going to be really impressed with that hair is as long as Mark. <laughs> I, I got a little bit of ice. Uh, yeah, goodness gracious. Maybe grow it on the face and we'll transplant some up top. This is our first edition of The Sizzler for this year, and our last edition until, well, next Wednesday anyway. Uh, today you will earn valuable uh, Zeller's Restaurant dollars based on the accuracy and creativity of your responses and how much they delight the wise guys and girl. And remember, you get a bonus dollar each time you get Ventura to laugh out loud. In my hand, I have a list of questions about online learning, so let's get at it. Question one. Uh, we all experienced a massive learning curve with the regard to online learning during the pandemic. What's the best tip you learned for online learning? Matt Shulman. Uh, you gotta, gotta remember that it's business up top and pajamas on the bottom and not the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, I think uh, $2 for the top and bottom uh, and not going front and back. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Uh, Vice Principal Botnick. Uh, I'm going to go with the helpful tips from our helpful help desk. Is your computer plugged in and is your device turned on? Those Ooh. are the ones that always seem to help get me through. X. <laughs> uh, that's good. A bucket tip. Uh, let's add $2 to our gift certificate there. Question two. Uh, how much time do students spend per day on average on websites with inappropriate content? It's uh, four hours plus the average duration of the Wise Guys and Girls podcast. <laughs> uh, coming in at about seven and a half or eight minutes, so well done. Four hours gets you four dollars. Vice Principal Botnick. I don't know. I, I uh, kind of thought of the philosophical questions that uh, this question begets. For example, really, who is the arbiter of what is inappropriate? Or if I'm not really paying attention to it... Am I really spending time on it? Or if it just magically appears on my device, is it really mine? So really, I couldn't tell you how much time they spent. More time on these questions, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, those are really good wise guys and girl thoughts, sir. Well then, uh, I think... I a few minutes on, on the QE. <laughs> uh, I think it's uh, $3 simply for your use of the word begets. That's great. <laughs> uh, question three, when was the first distance learning course established. Matt Shulman. In the first century BCE, a young Julius Caesar was thought to have enrolled in a course called Roman Numerals. <laughs> uh, uh, that led to the first roaming charges, I think. <laughs> Add it up. Uh, one BCE, there's a dollar. Okay, all right. Uh, Vice Principal Botnick. 
Uh, I believe the first online course came into being mere minutes before the uh, advent of the first Zoom bomber. <laughs> uh, Zoom bomber. Didn't he live up in a chateau down in the Tennessee Catskills or something like that? Yes, chateau. He was always on mute, but no one could hear him. <laughs> Did somebody steal his microphone? <laughs> too soon, uh, well, sir, I, too soon. The, the first distance learning course uh, was offered in 1728. The Boston Globe offered a course on the new methods of shorthand, but no one enrolled because they couldn't read shorthand. They didn't know that the course was even available. So, <laughs> How about that? Uh, let's see, 2, 4, 8, 12, what is just $15 at the Skillet Restaurant to share. Uh, no dessert or jello shots this week, but we'll at least we'll get a, a nice, uh, maybe some poutine and fries. That'll be great. All right, uh, it is Wednesday. Time for Wednesday's word. Zoom stalker. Yeah, that one person on your team or Zoom meeting that nobody knows who the heck they are. They proceed to dominate all the conversation, sucking the oxygen out of the room. Just saying something, considering it online. Oh. <laughs> well, then that reminds me of somebody else who uh, is an expert at taking oxygen out of the room. But anyway, <laughs> we'll save that for another day. All right, that is it for us, everybody. Uh, thanks to our fans and friends and odds and ends for listening. Have a great Wednesday, everyone. We are the wise guys and girl and Matt, leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday. Chug-a-run, chug-a-run.